Now we're on the second flavor of subnetting which is subnet based on host requirement rather than network requirements. Now for our example, your organization has purchased the class C address 216.21.5.0 and would like to create networks of 30 hosts each. Now we will follow the steps on how to subnet based on host request. Number one is we should determine the number of hosts per network. After determining the number of hosts per network, we should convert it into binary. Next is reserve bits in the subnet mask. Next is find your increment and use your increment to find your network range. Since ang gusto ng company natin ay 30 hosts per network, so ang number of hosts per network natin ay 30. Now we should convert it into binary. 128 is 0, 64 is 0, 32 is 0, 16 is 1, 8 is 1, 8 plus 16 is 24. So kailangan na lang natin ng 6, 4 is 1, 2 is 1, and 1 is 0 to make it 30. Next is we will reserve bits in our subnet mask. But first, alamin muna natin or convert muna natin yung subnet mask natin into binary. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Since it is class C. Now we will reserve bits in our subnet mask. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Dito na natin makikita yung pagkakaiba ng network request sa host request. Kung ang network request ay nag steal tayo or nagnanakaw tayo ng host bits dito, magre-reserve tayo ng host bit. So, paano yun? Para maabot natin yung 30 na host request, kailangan natin ng 5 bits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Kung ito ay network request, ang gagawin natin ay magnanakaw tayo ng 5. Dito, tayo ay magre-reserve ng 5 from here. Sa pinakadulo, sa kanan, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, tayo ay nag-reserve ng 5 bits ng host sa ating subnet mask. And yung remaining ay gagawin nating network bits. So, ang sagot dyan ay 1, 2, 3. Then, yung remaining na 5 ay 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, now, this is our new subnet mask in binary. Next thing is we should convert or find your increment. So, our increment is 32. So, our increment now is 32 in 4th octet. Next is use your increment to find your network range. So, unahin natin yung subnet 0 which is 216.21.5.0 So, ang next natin 216.21.5.0 32. Itong una natin, 216.21.5.31. Next is 216. 216.21.5.64. 216.21.5.63. 63. Next is 216.21.5.64 plus 32 is 96. So 216.21.5.95. So 216.21.5.128. 216.21.5.127. 216.5. That one sixty. 
So, 2016.21.5.159. So, ito ay uh, .21.5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ito yung mga IP address na gagamitin natin para sa mga bawat network natin. Ngayon, para sa susunod nating example, we have an IP address of 150.21.0.0 and a subnet mask of 255.255.0.0 and your company is requesting a 500 host per network. Now, I want you to pause this video and try to answer. So, thank you for pausing the video and trying to answer. Now, try natin sagutan ng sama-sama. First is we should determine the number of hosts per network. So, number of hosts is 500. Then, we should convert it into binary. Teka, hindi ba kayo napaisip nung sinagutan nyo? Teka, sir, ang 8 bits ay 255 lang. At ito ay 8 bits. So, 500 ang kailangan natin. So, paano kung isasolve yun, sir? Magdadagdag ka lang dito. Paano ako magdadagdag, sir? Ang gagawin mo lang, magmumultiply ka ulit ng times 2. So, 128 times 2 is 256. So, sapat na ba yan 256? Kung hindi pa sapat ang 256, itimes 2 mo ulit yung 256 kung gusto mo pang mag-add kung kinulang pa yung number of host request niya. So, testingin muna natin baka sapat na. So, ito ay 255. 255 plus 256 is ilan? 511. And 511 is sapat na sa 500 host per network natin. Next is we should convert it into binary. 256 plus 128 is calculator na natin. 256 plus 128 is 384 So kulang pa Plus 64 is 448 So kulang pa Plus 32 is 480 Kulang pa 480 plus 16 is 496 Kulang pa 8 is sobra na So 0 4 is saktong 500 Then 2 and 1 is 0 So this is the binary of 500 Now we should convert it into subnet mask. Now, we should reserve bits in our subnet mask. Ngayon, bago tayo makapag-reserve, i-convert muna natin yung subnet mask natin into binary. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Next is mag-reserve na tayo ng bits sa ating subnet mask. So, copy muna natin. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. Now, ilan ang bits na nagamit natin? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9. Ngayon, tayo ay magre-reserve ng 9 bits sa host portion natin. This is 8 bits plus 1. So, ito ang i-re-reserve natin para sa host natin. And then, yung remaining is ililipat natin or itatransfer natin into network bits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 10 Then, yung nireserve natin ng 9 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 8 Yan Now, we should find our increment So, ano nga ba ang ating increment? Yung pinakahuli natin Which is this one so, Our increment is 2 Lastly, is to use your increment to find your network range So, unahin natin yung subnet 0 150.21.0.0 Next is 150.21.2.0 So, 150.21.1.255 Next is 150.21.4.0 So, kuhanin natin yung range nito 150.21.0.0 
and so on and so forth. So, ganun ang pag-subnet based on the host request. Ngayon, kung ito ang naging sagot mo ay uh, congratulations at nakuha mo yung tamang sagot. So, basically, almost the same lang ang process ng network request and host request. Ang pinagkaiba lang talaga nila is sa network request, ang dinedetermine mo ay kung gaano karami yung nanakawin or hihiramin mong bits while the host request is ikaw ay magre-reserve ng dami ng host bits na kailangan mo. I hope that this has been educative for you and I'd like to thank you for watching. And if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe and bell button. So paano? Hanggang dito na lang tayo. Kita-kita na lang tayo sa mga susunod pa nating mga video.